So I think the challenge of, 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 of planning and building things is that it's, it's not so temporary, it shouldn't be temporary, right? So we, we don't want to go back on, you know, on what we've done 20 years ago and pull it all down. So I think there's, there's a certain sort of, you know, seriousness in what we do and, 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 and it's, it's, sort of, it's, it's meant to last. Um, I think what was interesting was that we all agreed that planning is per se a force for the good, but I think it requires that everybody is part of that is, 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 is part of that vision and, and, and mission, and it's not and it's not um, it's not led by technocrats or um, or, or bureaucrats necessarily. Yeah. No, we, I, I I do think that urban planning. I do think that planning plays an important role in the process of urban transformation. Um, I think the key thing is to make sure that that transformation is is, is, is channeled and moving into the right direction, and um, so that the cities can can be more sustainable and, and, and more resourceful going forward. And actually, will be it will be a challenge to make sure that um, these these benefits are are, are capitalised in, in in the right way and the right manner. Um, but I think putting that aside, just thinking about the the, the benefit of the community and, and the city as a whole. There's a, there's a, a, I think a duty there for us as, as, as the architects and planners um, to, to emphasize and illustrate what that potential could be. Because I think in a, in a city that lacks structure and hierarchy at the moment, these kind of nodes could play a really important role um, in, 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 in shaping the way that the city develops in the future.